Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will see how we can get started with the new Raspberry Pi 3 model B+. So what we will do is we will install the latest Raspbian OS in it then we will see how we can connect to it using VNC Viewer or PuTTY and then we will change its host name. So let's get started. Dance. Okay, so first of all you need a Raspbian OS image in your Raspberry Pi. So you can download this image from their website. I will share the link in the description. There are two versions available. One is the desktop version, one is without the desktop version. So the desktop version is the one which has all the UI and everything. You can have a look at the file system but this one doesn't have any UI or anything. So you need to download this. I have already downloaded this so I am not going to download this. Once you have downloaded the image, you need a flashing tool so that you can flash the image into your SD card. So the one which I am using is the HR. I will share the link with for this also. In this you just need to select the image you want to use and the USB drive you are using and simply click on the flash button. It will start the process. Apart from this HR software, you also need a VNC viewer and PuTTY. You can download the VNC from the VNC website and the PuTTY from their PuTTY website. I will share all the links in the description. So this will this flashing will take some time. We will resume once it is done. Okay so our flashing is now complete. Our SD card is ready. Now the last thing which we need to do is we need to create an empty SSH file in our SD card. Why? Because uh, we do not, I do not have any uh, monitor to connect to my Raspberry Pi so I want to enable the SSH so that we can do by simply going to the boot folder boot directory of our SD card and creating an empty SSH file this will automatically enable the SSH connection so we can use it we can use the PuTTY to connect to our Raspberry Pi so I am going to plug in this SD card into the Raspberry Pi and will power power up my Pi device. What I have done is that I have connected a Ethernet cable from my Raspberry Pi to the laptop so that I can easily get the IP address. It will take an it will take a local IP address in the range of 169.254 and then I can use a Wireshark software to get the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Okay, so let's open the Wireshark so that we can get its uh, the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So I've connected it to the Ethernet connection. Ethernet. So let's capture this and as you can see this is the this is the packet which we are interested. Let's go its, into its address resolution protocol and you can see the IP address it has is 99.92. Let's try to connect to this IP address. Okay. Username is pi and the password is the default raspberry. Okay, so we have successfully connected to our raspberry pi using the SSH connection in the PuTTY. Next thing which we need to do is we need to go into the recipe config and enable the VNC viewer so that we can access our Pi from the VNC. Go to the interface options and VNC. VNC server is also now enabled. Let's open our VNC and let's enter the IP address. Okay. Looks like we will have to set the resolution first we'll go into the raspberry pi configuration and here you can see set resolution we'll set it to this one it will ask you for the reboot okay let's wait
okay so here we have our raspberry pi and we are accessing it in the vnc viewer now you can is you can uh, connect the raspberry pi to the uh, wireless networks you have and then you can simply remove the ethernet ethernet cable which you have plugged in and you can directly access it from the from your wi-fi ip address which it will take also we should now change the host name i'm going to name it as pi and is there anything which we need to do okay so this is all about how you can download the raspberry raspbian os into your raspberry pi you can how you can access it from the putty you can access it from the vnc viewer and change his host name in next video we will set up a development environment so that we can write python python codes for it and we can do a remote debugging from our ide so thank you for watching this video hit like share subscribe and comment if you have any questions regarding this thanks